Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. Turning now to our local COVID numbers, Kern Public Health reporting 2,351 new infections tonight. No deaths reported, and that total remaining at 1,974. Meanwhile, Omicron variant cases rose slightly from 63 to 66. Moving now to an altercation between multiple students happening at South High School during lunch today. Minor injuries were reported according to Kern High School District and the school and KHSD saying in a statement they do not condone violence of any kind. They tell 23 ABC administration and KHSD police are investigating this matter and will then take the appropriate disciplinary actions. Well, these days, not only are stock shelves hard to find in the grocery stores, but prices of the products on them are going up. Here are some tips to keep more money in your wallet. First, start with a plan for five meals a week and never shop hungry. Next, skip pre-sliced fruits and vegetables, which are often three times the price. You'll want to skip expensive steak dinners and go for less pricey beef options that can be used in multiple meals. Also, avoid shopping with young children. If you do have to bring them, remember that the sugary snacks are often stacked down at eye level. Look for recipes that use rice or pasta, which cost pennies per serving. And finally, use coupons, buy store brands, and stock up when things are on sale. And parts of Kern County struggling with some very strong winds today. Not here in the valley. We've barely even broken 10 miles per hour here in Bakersfield. But look over in eastern Kern. A couple places reporting 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So some very strong winds in the desert and in the mountains as well. That's why we've got this tan shaded area. The wind advisory in effect through the night and into our Saturday. Here in the valley, the bigger threat as we head into the weekend is fog. And that's even more likely as we get into next week and high pressure builds back in. Temperatures will remain in that nice range, and we enjoy quite a bit of sunshine through the forecast. Seven-day forecast for our mountain communities. Again, windy for our Saturday, especially early in the day and still a little bit breezy on Sunday. And then the winds die down. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com